Hello guys, and today I am going to be building an ice farm, a very easy ice farm. A manual ice farm, that's for sure. So, let's go now to the ice farm build zone. So, let's bring our elytra. Yep, let's take it, and let's go to the launch area. So, I decided to put the ice farm in an icy area. Well, a cold biome, and I know where there's a really cold biome, and I found a really good place to build it, so let's go there. Not too far away. Well, it is still a ways away, but a short ride away. So, here we are now. So, just pass over the trees and... There is where we're going to be building this farm, right here. There we go, so we are going to be building this farm right over here. We've got some goats too as our friend. So yeah, ooh. <laughs> so that's where we're going to be building this farm. So I guess let's now start the build process. So I'll now just head into a short time lapse for one second. Goodbye for now. Hello guys, so here I am in the time lapse, now just building the super easy farm. So not really anything much to it. You can build ice farms in any dimensions you want, but this is probably the most optimal one, which is basically a giant 37 by 37 block square. So yeah, those are the most optimal dimensions. I've got a... Did I link a tutorial? I don't know. I'll probably not, because it's really that easy to build, like... Like, the first day you start playing Minecraft, you could definitely be able to build this farm. The first day you start playing Minecraft. <laughs> Maybe that's an overestimation, but it's really, 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 really easy. Yeah. Using spruce wood, it's recommended to use wood for the for as the block. But you can use anything, but I think, I don't know. I, I heard that maybe you should use um spruce wood. I really don't know. I'm just gonna use spruce wood because I've got a, a lot of that. Mm, yes. Oh, yep. Ah, what do I have to talk about? Let's talk about... Let's talk about human beings. Um... Let's talk about... Oh, oh no. I hope you can't hear the outside sound for one sec. Okay, whatever. Well, you know what? Let's talk about Shakira. Because my mother outside is listening to Shakira. So let's talk about Shakira. Now, in the music industry, I've been very into pop. And like Ava Max, Dua Lipa, Ariana Grande, and oh, I'm getting stuck in the powdered snow. But I'm taking some of that powder stone, and it's really annoying, this powdered snow. I should have brought leather booties, but I forgot, so I get stuck. So, talking about back to Shakira. So, Shakira is actually the person who I first ever started listening to in terms of music, of course. When I was young, I was, like, listening to, um, oh, to, who was it? Well, baby music. <laughs> but I also listened to Shakira, which is... Yeah, I really like Shakira, like, I don't know, my mother would always listen to Shakira, so I guess I did like my mother, and I really like listening to Shakira, and I also listen to a lot of Katy Perry too, but mostly Shakira, and it's just, I don't know, I've just been born listening to Shakira, so Shakira is a person who pied me into the music industry, and then after that, so let's talk about my music life when I was born. So I was born starting off with Shakira. After Shakira, I kind of paused for a while until... Was it... It was when... Okay, when um, Alan Walker was like... When he suddenly became famous. I listened to a lot of Alan Walker. But now I don't listen to very much Alan Walker. So I listened to a lot of Alan Walker for a long time. Until, again, I stopped, and then I started listening to Thai music, because I live in Thailand, yeah. 
So I listen to time music, but now I really I don't even listen to time music. I don't even like time music anymore. So again, then I I pause for like a really long time, like a couple of years of no music, until I decided to come back, back with a fresh, fresh start. And then that's when I started knowing more about celebrities and singers and songwriters and things. And then I first started listening to, I found out about this, this pop singer called Ava Max and I was like hmm oh and I started listening the first song I listened to was Kings and Queens it immediately just stuck on my head but at the time I it was like a short part of Kings and Queens and I, I couldn't I've and I basically kept on trying to find the name and then I find it it was just called Kings and Queens so yep so Kings and Queens and it was so like stuck in my head and Sweet But Psycho 2 Oh, that song was so... Ah, oh, Sweet But Psycho. I love that song so much. Yeah, Sweet But Psycho and Kings and Queens. I'd say Kings and Queens is, like, my favorite. Though I also really like Salt. Salt is amazing. So good. So also, Ava Max's new album, um... Well, I, I, I fell down through the... Um, Powdered Snow, I guess. Oh, okay. Moving on. So Ava Max's new album Diamonds and Dance Falls, I, I think she wrote some of her best, it was definitely so far her best album, like Heaven and Hell was amazing, but like, it's superior, like just superior in terms of music. But I think my favorite is definitely just Diamonds and Dance Falls, the music one, like, that one is so good, I love it so much. So moving back, so I was listening to um, um, Ava Max. And then I started listening to Dua Lipa. Now Dua Lipa, I knew about Dua Lipa and Ariana Grande before Ava Max, but I didn't know much about them. So I started listening to them, and then I started listening to Ariana Grande, which was a big part of my life. And all, and then after I started reaching out to other, other like singers and songwriters, mainly Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, I knew about her, but also Lady Gaga, which I never thought I would. I create lighter. I guess, yeah. I think the only reason I I didn't expect me to like be in love with Lady Gaga is because I remember my grandma. She was talking um talking poop about uh, no no swearing. This is a family friendly channel, so she was talking poop about Lady Gaga. I think it was mainly because of her weird outfits, and she was like, "Ugh, it's gross." Like I think the me dress part was the thing that threw my grandma off. So I was like, "Okay." So I kind of stayed away, but. I started listening and yeah, I really liked it. So after after Lady Gaga, I listened to basically so many other people. Like I started listening to Rihanna. I like Rihanna. I think my favorite from Rihanna is Only Girl in the World. But also I think if if like if it includes like um collaborations, my favorite is definitely can't remember to forget you which is a collaboration which was a collaboration between Shakira and uh Shakira and Rihanna that song is so amazing I love it a favorite from Shakira that's for sure and who else I was I also bought, got back to Demi Lovato a heart attack that's such a good one why I suddenly sound American oh my god heart attack and what else is there um Demi Lovato, Sorry, Not Sorry, and Confident, these are pretty good top hits. And, yeah. So, yeah, definitely pop stands as my favorite genre of music. What's my least favorite genre of music? Rap. Rap is so bad. So bad. Though there, there is an exception. There is a small exception to rap. And the, the exception of rap is women rap women raps like Nicki Minaj, Doja Cat and Cardi B. Cardi B. But I don't like Cardi B that much. But these are the exception. These are the only good rap. And there are a couple of reasons. First of all first of all, one reason is feminism of course. Feminism. I don't know why I'm even using this as a reason. I don't know. Feminism I guess. But oh my god. So, after the, yeah, so there's feminism, and then, the thing about Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj is the only really good rap, because I know it's rap, but it's like, it's not really that rap, like, it's not super rap, 
it's like it's kind of a, it's kind of a mixture of rap and uh, pop. It's more pop, but also that there's that rap part. Like the songwriting is a rap, but it doesn't like it doesn't have the tone of rap. Like, do you get it? Yeah, you you don't get it. <laughs> yeah. So in terms of rap, the only good one would be Nicki Minaj. And oh my god, I can hear in the background waka waka. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it. This is the worst commentary ever. But yep. So, um, who else? Let's talk about other artists. I really do like Ariana Grande. I used to not really like Ariana Ariana Grande that much, but now I kind of like it. And I used to actually like Olivia Rodrigo. Rodri Rod I don't know if it's Rodrigo or Rodrigo. But I just recently just... I suddenly felt like maybe I shouldn't like her because... Well, she's good. But it's like... I heard like my friend talking this morning that... Oh, I think I need to stop. The time lapse is ending. So we're going to talk about Olivia Rodrigo later. Guys, so I've now finished the farm. So it's really easy to build didn't take me very long only half an hour so yeah as you saw in the time lapse it was really simple for me to build just add a bunch of water wait for the water to turn to ice and you should have your farm basically done so the only annoying part really is adding all of the water but once you've done that it's pretty easy to do nothing really out of the world so now I guess I need to show you how to use this farm but to be even able to use this farm, you need to wait. You need to wait for all of this to turn to ice, so... I guess I'll just wait here, so yep. Quite a while to wait. <laughs> Goodbye. Guys, so now the farm is basically completely made of ice, all the ice is pretty much there, so now we just need to harvest it, so take one block, then go down, and with your single touch pickaxe, just go through everything, and of course everything will be re-put back to its normal form, so yeah, just do this, just break the ice, I don't think it's too difficult. Just break the eyes. And there we go. It's not very difficult to break the eyes. So just break all of the ice 
and you should get a good amount of eyes. And of course, because we've got slabs in the middle, this means that the middle won't be full of things. It won't be full of water sources. So everything will be fine. So, yeah. So, because we have the middle full of water sources, the rest won't go... Well, it won't, the middle won't go to ice, so it will just um, auto-refill everything. So yeah, pretty simple, I would really highly recommend you build this, it's not difficult, it's very easy to build, it took me less than half an hour to build, so yeah, highly recommend you build this, and ice is, it's not the most useful thing, but it's useful for certain things like nether ice hallways and things like that. So yeah, I'm just collecting all the ice, probably gonna spend a little while, so, oh my god, too much ice, so yes, very good farm for be beginners especially, it's really easy, first day you could, not maybe not first day, that's a little bit insane, but like, First couple days, you could definitely build this farm. So, yeah. Already got several stacks of ice from just two parts of the farm. So, yeah, in one hour, you could probably get a lot of ice. Probably a good, I think, a thousand ice or something like that. You can get a lot of ice from a, just a, waiting a little bit. You can get a lot of ice. Like, a lot, a lot of ice. Really, really easily. So, yeah. This concludes my video, so don't forget to like and subscribe, and again, I'm sorry this video may have been a little bit shorter than usual, but yeah, kind of busy, kind of need to do videos very quickly, so yeah, so see you later, don't forget to like and subscribe, and goodbye, see you in the next one.